Hello everyone, welcome back to another watching. Today we are going to do a follow-up review on the last vintage watch that came out of that lot that I bought. Um, it is a 1940s Octo. It says waterproof, anti-magnetic, and shock resistant. Now, unfortunately, I had a hard time finding a whole lot of information on this one, as seems to be the case with a lot of the vintage watches I've, I've gotten. Sometimes it's hard to pin down what they actually are. Um, so I'm going off of the seller, which uh, it's a guy I bought from before, and he deals in a lot, a lot of vintage watches. So I think it's fairly safe to say his guess is probably pretty good about it being a 40s watch um, if any of you guys else know any better let me know in the comments I'd love to hear what you guys think uh, the dial is actually pretty cool it's a military style dial you can see definitely some patina some age in it it does have some loom so we'll take a look at that in a little bit but I want to uh, open up the back and we'll take a look at what's inside if you look at the case, it's got reserved Octowatch Swiss. It does have some serial numbers, but I did not find a whole lot of information. Like I said, just trying to look it up, there wasn't a whole lot out there. But you know me, I like to check out the movement. Let's see what we got here. It says waterproof, but I noticed it's missing a seal, so I might need to get a new seal on there. I'm guessing it's uh, not too waterproof. This is the first one I've had that has like an inner piece there. All right, so there's the movement. You see it says Octowatch, 17 jewels. Caliber 1209 Swiss. It's cool looking at the movement. I mean, the movement in this compared to the movement in like that uh, that Timex that I had opened up. It's pretty night and day. So let's uh, there we go. Let's put this back together here, and we'll take a little bit more look at the front. Now, I've actually have worn this one a few times, um, and it keeps very good time. I was surprised for the age how good a time it actually keeps. That's weird. It's not wanting to go. Let me loosen it up and take a better look at what I got going on here. I'm wondering if I didn't get that inner piece actually set down I didn't see how uh, it's got the cutout for the crown or yeah for the stem on the crown I didn't get that lined up right so there we go there we go that was my problem that's why it's always good to go slow you don't want to over tighten something pinch something ruin something by just trying to trying to rush it. And honestly, I don't usually take the backs off of my watches unless I'm trying to do some research on it or take a look at the movement. Let me take off the monster I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing the TW Steel I got in as one of my uh, subscription watches. All right, so let's take a look at it on wrist real quick here. Whoop. Let me throw it around first. I mean, it's a fairly small watch. I can pull out the the dial gauge here in a second. Just a simple leather band, which is, I mean, pretty classic look. Um, this one with the crown, about 34 millimeters, about 30, 31 without the crown. Um, 
it's got about a 16 millimeter band on it so you could definitely change it out and do some other stuff now the crown I'm not sure if it was original there's a uh, there's no logo or marking on the crown and it just seems kind of out of place to the rest of the watch so that might not be original I know the band obviously isn't overall a pretty cool watch I, I like how it wears um, let's uh let's go take a look at the loom in the dark hold on one second guys all right guys so we are sitting in the dark and I got my black light out so we can charge that up a little bit you see the loom still there on the markers you can kind of see it flare up at the ends of the hands but a lot of it's corroded away um, or disintegrated yeah disintegrated a little bit deteriorated that's the word I'm looking for deteriorated but pretty cool to see it'll still come to life not too bad all right guys all right and we are back in the light so we'll just finish up with that shot there the octo um, let me know what you guys think of this one I actually think it's pretty cool um, like I said I'm going off the seller and saying it's from the 40s definitely has the right look to it age wise but hey I guess you never know if anyone else has seen a seen one like this and has a little bit more info in it I'd love to hear from you in the comments as always thanks for watching stay tuned for more watches